Hello everybody, it's Several Tool 4 for another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door in the last episode. We got the ability to turn into a tube. And uh, now we're just going to uh, roll our way through everything here. Uh, I think the enemies have respawned, so we're just going to try to avoid them. Rolling is very fast, as you can see. I don't know if it's as fast as Yoshi, but it's pretty fast. Whoa, it's pretty fast. It's just kind of hard to turn and stuff like that. Uh, but it's nice, and we can use it to go under here. Also, that was totally a star piece. Na, da, 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 da. The reason why I had Flurry out over here is because we have this large pile of hay, and what do we do with large piles of hay? Blow them away! Yeah, we're just going to be rolling all over the place, though. And heading into the forest. Mmm, look how beautiful this place is. I'm going to keep saying it. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, yeah. If you've played Flower Fields from the first game, you know the potential danger. Okay. I can... I can release my breath. Uh, these are... These are crazy daisies. Um, first of all, I hate them. I can't believe I actually did that properly. Um, yeah. Crazy daisies. I hate them. They suck. But uh, let's uh, tattle this. That's crazy, Daisy. It may look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. HP is 7, attack is 2, defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is its lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. If you manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try learning the timing. Yeah. Oh, and when its HP runs low, it runs away. So try to KO in one fell swoop. It's gonna run away now, because it only had one health left. Uh, but... With uh, Amazy Daisies, uh, with Crazy Daisies here, you always have the risk of the Amazy Daisy, which is a horrifying monstrosity that you simultaneously would love to see and simultaneously would never ever want to run into in your life. If you don't know why, well, you'll learn why soon. Also, ooh, an earthquake. Uh, by Fire Flower. Yeah, the Fire Flower is too weak for this moment in time. Oh god! Alright. Uh, disaster mode. Uh. 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 There's no way we'll be able to kill it, but I'm going to do my best. No, uh, I'm just gonna attack it straight on. I know it's only gonna do one. Amazing Daisy, as you can see. Dang it! Oh lord! <laughs> I'm so happy I saved. Uh, yep. So the worst has happened. Uh, Amazing Daisies. We're gonna die. So I'm just gonna tattle this so I don't have to show you later. Uh. Do I want to die? No, nope, no, nope. we're just gonna run away. Amazing Daisies! 20 HP, 20 attack. Oh, good lord. Uh, 20 HP, 20 attack, and 1 defense. Uh, I don't know if that Amazing Daisy is still going to be there, but. Who would I even want to put in here? Uh. You just, you want it to not hurt you. That's like the big thing. Is it still gonna be there? I don't think it's still gonna be there. Oh, it is, oh God. Um, okay, so yeah, we just have to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Uh, clock out is your best bet, I think, but I might die here. So if I do, I'm sorry. Uh, A, B, A, B, and A. Are you both immobile? Oh god, it only got one of them. Uh... Let's run away. Again. 
I didn't. I did. I don't use clock out ever. So. Excuse me. So I don't know how it works. Unless the game is being nice and, and letting me you know, keep using it. Uh, I don't use clock out ever, so I honestly don't know. I di don't remember its mechanics. So I have to keep tapping the button. That's the problem. Uh, why doesn't it work on him? Ah, oh, God. Okay, no. Nope. We're just we're just getting out of here. I'm I'm very unprepared, obviously, to fight this stupid thing. Um, God, uh, the problem. So, Amazing Daisies are are incredibly rare, uh, as you can probably tell. They also give you a ton of experience. I've like killed two in my lifetime. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, it's just not something that I am prepared for, but. Let's just flip him over so he can't attack during this turn and kill the Crazy Daisy. If this would fully heal me, I'd be really happy, game. <gasps> you're so nice. Oh, game, you're so merciful, you know that? Bless. Uh, I would, I would have preferred that in the other fight, but okay. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't know if I even have the means to kill the Amazing Daisy before it kills me. Can I do 20 damage to it? I don't think it's gonna be in the in the last screen anymore. Let's get rid of the other fire flower. Hammer throw, nice. Um. See, I, I can't even, hmm, I can't even waste time using, uh, using Tattle. Is it still gonna be here? No, okay. Didn't, I didn't think it would be, it would be back because I transitioned screens. Oh god, give me a heart attack. Like, people say, oh, you know, the piano in Mario 64 is scary, or, like... No. Two things, like, give you a heart attack in video games. One, running... Wow, okay. Running into a monster house in uh, the Pokemon... The early Pokemon dun uh, Mystery Dungeon games. That is, like, one of the scariest things ever. I think I have the timing there and I'll never be able to replicate it again. Uh, so yeah, running into a monster house in the Mystery Dungeon games and running into an Amazing Daisy. Ugh. 20. Just, like, usually it just runs away. Like, I don't know why it stayed long enough to, uh, to attack us and it was very mean to do so. But man. Uh. I, I just I need I need to calm down a little bit. Um, do I blow this away too? Yes, I do. That works. Hello. Flurry is mysteriously gone. Um. Let's get Gumbella out here. Uh, I guess we need Flurry again. Wow, there's a lot of hidden stuff here. So this actually reminds me of uh, Crystal Palace. Just moving one thing and it affects another, you know? And we had to pop in there and pop out over there. Whoa! Calm down, sir.
it occurs to me that I didn't even bother tattling these guys. Oops. Um, we, we already know what they are. They're hyperclefts. Uh, we've fought hyperbald clefts before, but not regular hyperclefts. It's a cleft with a charge up move. HP is 4, attack is 3, defense is 3. When it charges up, it goes to 9. Couple its rock hardness with its ability to charge up and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try doing super guards. Yeah. If you can't, you better use some items or get out of there. Um, or you just keep using Power Quake and kill them all! Quake, Quake Hammer, not Power Quake. But Power Quake is the upgraded one, right? Maybe? Anyway. Creepy Steeple. Again, I love just how everything is framed here. It's beautiful. This is Creepy Steeple, where the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as we possibly can, okay? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, heal up a little bit. Save. I'm really upset that we lost our... Uh, watch him who's it so fast. I forgot if we're supposed to be down here, but we do get a shiny. Whoa, calm down, little guy. Oh, just one of them. <laughs> Look at the cutie. Just, I don't know, buzzy beetles are adorable. They, they just are. That's a buzzy beetle. Oh, it's kind of cute. HP is 5, attack is 3, defense is 4. It's got pretty good defense, fire explosions don't hurt whatsoever, but if you jump on it, you can flip it over. Uh, then it's at mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate! Jump! 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 Jeez. Calm down. Yeah, they have really high defense, so it's almost impossible to hit through it, so you're gonna have to flip them over. Uh, I think I'm not actually supposed to be down here just yet, so we'll come back. But in order to get into Creepy Steeple, just gotta roll ourselves up into a little toilet paper and get over here. I believe behind here there's a star piece. And let's head inside. is a very interesting place. I'm, I'm just quiet because I enjoy the creepy ambiance of it, of it all. It's just, I don't know, it's really nice. What's back here? Ooh, a chest! What's in the chest? Oh, flower saver badge. Nice. Uh, flower saver badge, when you equip it, makes all of your moves cost one less FP. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. Anything else here? Eh, let's just open the box. What's in the box? <laughs> okay, it's quiz time, Adeloper. Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out total? Uh... I think it is... 200? I feel like feel like it's 200. Uh, oh. Good. Very good. Take this, math nerd. See the sucker. Well, that's nice of him. Again, ultra shroom. Uh, let's drop fire flower. Could have sworn I already dropped that one, but yeah. I gotta let those ghosts out because why not? That's locked from the inside. And let's get Goombell back out. So now that we've uh, let the ghosts out, uh, we're going to get contacted by Egad, and he's going to tell us to put them all back. No. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Are you going to be mean to me? No. Oh, we could be friends. Are you going to join my party? Promise! <gasps> Come out, guys! 
Oh, oh god, that's 200 ghosts. Uh, go away. That's creepy. Get, eh. Get off of me. Get off of me. If you, if you let them hold on to you, then they'll, they'll, like, toss you out or something. Hee ho ho, you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. What? Oh god. Yeah! <laughs> For mini boss time! I think this is a completely optional mini boss? Or maybe he's not, I don't know. But it's a fight against the Atomic Boo! This guy, I don't know, he's a fun, he's a fun battle. I like the stained glass in the background. Uh, that's an atomic boo. It's a giant boo made up of a ton of smaller boos. HP is 40 and attack is 4, defense is 0. This thing will try to smoosh us. It can also split up and send hundreds of boos at us. And when we attack, we might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. Uh, I'm sure, I sure wouldn't want to see this thing standing behind me in the middle of the night. Creepy! Ow. Yeah, you can attack your partner, which is mean. Uh, but we have the spin. Spin? We have the spin jump. So, if we get the timing right, we might actually be able to, you know, hit him or something. I love that the crowd is just booze. Okay. I thought I might not be able to attack him or something. I think he's getting ready to do a, like a blah! Yeah. Oh god. Oh, we're both confused. Oh, that's not good. Uh, can you give me something? Wow! Is that two this episode? That's impressive. That's really impressive. Uh... You wanna... That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so you're doing that again. Can I... We'll use power lift at some point. Um, I'm gonna save that for like when it's actually important. That's not what I... <laughs> Game. Ah! Oh god, we're both confused again. Can... I'd really like it if you just attack uh, up, up. Wow, you're actually attacking. One HP left. One HP left. Let's not screw this up. Whoa, look at those star points. Thank, thank you. No. Good job, all of you. Good job, every single one of you. Couldn't you have waited till I killed him next turn? Yeah, you have to. You have to do a whole load of dodging on that one. Okay, good. We're not. We're not insane anymore. But yeah, it's a. It's a fun fight. It's really not that hard unless you have low health. Um. Yeah, it's enjoyable, and you get something out of it. <laughs> yes, that was completely optional, but you do get the Lucky Start Badge. I love the Lucky Start Badge. Unfortunately, it requires 4 BP. <laughs> um, I don't think that there's anything I can actually unequip right now to do anything there. I think when I level up, I'm going to take off multi-bounce and put on... Uh, and, well, take off multi bounds and give myself three BP so I can put on Lucky Start. Uh, what it does, it, it gives you like a random item, like a random effect at the start of, of each battle. Um, you know, slowly restore health, slowly restore uh, FP, become electrified, or like things like that. And it's really fun. And it just adds it, it adds some flavor to the fights. Um, I think. I think. Uh, 
Oh, there's a little alcove right there. Cool. I think we'll go into this alcove here. Get ourselves some treasure. Let's we'll get shine. And a cookbook. Ooh. If you remember from the last game, the cookbook is something that you give to the cook lady and she can put two things together. Also a star piece. This is a nice room. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Again, chapter four. Instead of getting the stuff from the Shy Guys, you just find it with the ghosts. And now they're going to be go uh, booze everywhere. So let's get Goombella out and fight one of these guys. Come on. <laughs> kick right in the face. Oh, right. We, we fought Booze already. We fought them in, uh, in the pit of 100 trials. So, yeah, they have 7 health, so we're just gonna spin jump on them because why not? Um, yeah, so this is, this is where they're from, guys. And they're really not that hard. They can turn themselves invisible, I think. But no, other than that, they're pretty good. Boink. Ah, yeah, that was bad timing. Um, but what awaits us in the furthering sections of the creepy steeple? Find out in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'm going to kill all these boos and, uh, off screen, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.